Okay, so today we're doing this fucking tens machine. I'm super stressed. Yeah, I am too. Which is so funny because like we both get have periods, and we both have like pretty. I mean, I think they're pretty crazy cramps. Yeah, like I mean, not all the time, which is great. No. Um, and I know I don't have like I'm not like crazy cramps like endometri endometriosis yeah. or like PCOS or anything like that. I think like yeah, yeah but I would say that like. In regular yeah. period land, we both have our... Yeah, like I feel like our, I have a pretty high pain tolerance. So yeah. I'm really curious. Me like, too. <laughs> like, do I? I'm do really I curious not? too. I know also, like, how is this going to affect my, like, vision of myself and, like, my mental <laughs> health and stability if we do this? And I'm like, ah, I can't handle it! <laughs> you're like, oh, so I'm the weakest woman on the planet. Got it. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case, though. No. I feel like I'm all. I, we've also been like subconsciously putting this off. Yeah, I do too. But no, it's gonna be fine. Here we go. I'm really curious. So I am too. This is a tens machine. I have it for my. I got it for my lower back. Yeah. And apparently, it can also be used to simulate period cramps. Yeah. So for my Google research. I know you like totally like read it, right? You read yeah. it, read it. How do you read it? Did, 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 like I can't. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> read it, did, did it. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> There's definitely too many eds. But in there. still, it's, yeah. I don't know. It's too many. Yeah. Because um, I knew someone on Reddit was yeah. going to have been like, I tested it. Here's yeah. the best like settings. settings. So. I did all of that. So they say to just put it on, so we're gonna do this at the same time. So we're just gonna simulate like the stomach cramps and not the back cramps. Right. Okay, so that's on, so. Oh, I don't feel anything, I don't feel anything. Okay, I feel a three. Hang on, I gotta turn you up to a three. Oh, okay, I still don't feel anything. There it goes. Oh, now I feel it. So that, okay. So that, I just feel like the tingly on the skin. Yeah. It, went, it goes and comes. So it goes in waves. If I hold it on my, I can feel it. But if I just don't have, like, if I don't press on it, I can't really feel it at all. Yeah, I don't feel that. Oh, there it goes. I guess maybe a little. But no, that's not painful. No, no, no. It's just, like, like... I was, like, until now, I didn't even think it was on. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like someone's giving me a butterfly kiss on my bladder. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we'll do four. Okay. Oh, that, I feel that a little bit more. Yeah, I feel that more. It's still just like tingling though. It's not like pain or anything. No, I just feel like something's happening. Yeah. I could feel like how this could be a cramp. Like it's not. But, like, I'm feeling it more mm. than just the surface of my skin now, too. F yeah, I feel it more on my left side than my right side. Maybe my right side's tougher than my left side. Interesting. I feel like I feel it more on my right side. <laughs> okay, should we do a five? Yeah. Okay. This doesn't feel anything like a cramp, though. No. Well, this is five, and so this is where people say they start feeling like kind of a cramp feeling. Yeah. No. <laughs> it just feels like prickly. Yeah. Like. And I feel like it, so it does go in waves. Yeah. And I feel like at the top of the wave, maybe, maybe. I start feeling it. Like, yeah, like for a split second, like there. Yeah. Maybe. But not there. really. There. But not really. No. Okay. Let's do a six. Oh. I'm, star I'm starting to feel like that there's uh, like a cramp. Maybe. But barely. But also the thing is, too, is I feel like because it's, like, so much, like, um, like, the prickly on your skin. Yeah. It's, is it, more it, distract, is, like, yeah. worse than, like, yeah, you don't feel like you're getting electrocuted a little bit on your skin. Yeah. When you're having cramps. Yeah. So, so it's, like, almost distracting. From the period, from the cramping. Yeah, but I can feel that I can this, feel the cramp underneath, is, though. This yeah. This could be, like, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm yeah. feeling it like on my, I'm actually feeling on my right side more. That's interesting. I wonder if I put one slightly lower. 
than the other one. Yeah. But yeah, I am starting to like be like, oh, that could be underneath that prickly feeling. That mm-hmm. could be a cramp. Yeah, I feel that. Okay, let's try a seven. This only goes up to eight. The other people's went up to ten. Oh, okay. So. Oh, okay. Still with the prickliness, though. Yeah, it's more like I feel like someone's like tapping really hot, like quickly on my skin. But I feel, yeah, I can't, I can't, yeah. But that's still like this is not. This is not like where my cramps are bad though. Not at all. No, like not even close. And even like, it's like we're having a complete conversation. Yeah. And it's going, like, yeah. the whole time. Yeah, like, I'm not, like... Yeah, it comes in waves, but yeah. I'm talking through it the whole time. Yeah, like, it's not we're not distracting like, me. Yeah, no, not at all. Like, no. it's not... It's, like... I'm definitely way more distracted sometimes by my cramps. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, let's, let's <clears throat> go up all the way and see. Okay, that's more of a cramp. It feels the same. Did you turn me up? Yeah. It feels the same as the 7 to me. Now, now I feel like it does. I feel like the first one I was like, oh, that feels a little bit more, but now I feel like it's the same. Yeah, I don't think that this simulates my cramps very well. No, I'm curious if, like, the last two, like, nine and ten, yeah. would make that much of a difference. Or I don't think they would, though. No, or if this just, like, really speaks to the fact that, like... Seriously... Yeah, it is. God, I'm even more disappointed in men now. Yeah. <laughs> like, is this just not working? We could do the whole fucking thing like this. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the it's the the pring the pringly the, the pringly the prickly the prickly tingly yeah the pringly. Let's. I'm curious. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off and just like try a different mode and just see like. Okay. Like what? What happened? Yeah. Yeah. No, because if that's it, guys. Jesus. <laughs> like, that's embarrassing for you. Oh, that's nothing. No. See, like, oh, this is like, this is interesting feeling. Oh. Yeah, this is not crampy, though, but this is interesting. Yeah. This is like someone's it's playing like, chopsticks on, yeah. my, on my skin. I feel like this would feel good on my lower back. Yeah, this feels prickly, not... Oh, but, like, when you... Sorry! I didn't to tell you I was doing it. <laughs> but you feel it more. Yeah. Okay, let's go up to five. Cause this... Oh. And that hurts my skin, though. Ow. Right? Yeah, that's not like a cramp. That's not like a cramp. That hurts my skin, though. Yeah. I don't like this one. No. Okay, wait, let's... And it's not doing anything crampy. No. Oh, I didn't like that, though. No, that one was prickly. I kind of feel like I have, like... <sighs> residual cramps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do, too, a little bit, but... Nothing, like... Not, like, uh, not in a real sort of no. way, but in a little bit, like, my stomach is like, what the fuck? Why like, did you do that to me? Why did you do that to me? Like, we just finished this. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, between ovulation cramps and, like... My period being, like, faster and longer, my body's like, so this is the one week that we weren't going to be in pain, and yeah. then you got to fuck with me? Yeah, you got you to gotta do this. Why? Um, yeah, but no, I would say that it, like, even at the highest one, like, barely even registered yeah. compared to what I go through. And, like, there's part of me that's, like... Well, maybe we just did it wrong. Yeah, that's the same thing I yeah. feel, too. I'm like, that can't be it, right? Yeah, like, like that's not it. Right? Right? <laughs> like, did we do it wrong? Like, I mean, also, then there's the other part of me that's like, the weaker sex my ass. Like, <laughs> go fuck yourselves. Like... like well, and we've seen, I've seen at yeah, least, like, I have all too. those videos of, like, the women just being, like, I mean, yeah, it's not a thing. And the guys being, like, oh, God, oh. So, I mean, it is true when you are, like, like, chronic pain. It's, like, it's, you get used to a, yeah. a level of pain. Um, and it ups your pain tolerance. Yeah. 
I mean, I think, I think any tattoo artist could tell you that because oh, yeah, they all say so many videos on like Instagram and TikTok where it's like I would much rather tattoo a chick than I do. She's like, oh, 13 hours on my ribs. Like, no, I'm good. Yeah. Oh, I guess if you want a five minute break, I can go get a soda or yeah. something. But no, I'm fine if you want to keep going. Yeah. Um, yeah, now I want to do this again with like some of the men in my life. Yeah. Yeah, now I want, like, other women to do it. I want men to, I want to, like, with this, with this device set up. Yeah. Because um, it did, like, the wave of it. Yeah, that's true. Like, that tracked. And there was, like, underneath the kind of, like, skin prickliness, like, yeah. the hint of a cramp. The, the whisper. Yes. The like, foreshadowing. Yeah. It's like the... A hint water um, <laughs> yeah cramp yeah just just a it's a lacroix for your it, your yeah ovarian distress <laughs> the ovarian distress flavored lacroix <laughs> seriously <laughs> yeah i want i want to know like if we did it right i think we did and i think we're just bad bitches <laughs> <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But right? Doesn't it feel like it was too easy? Like, spoilers, I roped you in, not really. I was the willing participant. Yeah. <laughs> of the Love is Blind season finale. Yeah. Which was just... I mean... A disaster. Very validating as, like, someone who pretty much just stays single because she thinks it's bleak out there. <laughs> It just proved the point. It really did. It really um, did. I, I'm super happy. I don't remember anyone's name, of course, as usual. But I'm super happy for the one couple that made it. Amy and Johnny? Johnny, yes. Nice. Amy? Yes, I think so. Amy and Johnny, yeah. Um, I thought from day one they were going to make it, so I was really glad. I was really nervous because... It was like fucking just Lord of the Flies, like couples dropping out left and right and just like mm -hmm. chaos and lies and like I feel like every time episodes were released like we found out like oh well this like person actually had a girlfriend the entire time they were on the show and this person actually was engaged like a week before the show started and like I, <sighs> messy. This is like more, and the, lots of thoughts. Um, this is, <laughs> I do feel like this is just dating in general, but like I've heard from like you and like other people that are like willing to put themselves out into the very, very dirty, dirty dating pool. Um, that there's just like, people don't know how to be alone anymore. And it's like this it's sense of like immediacy. Like, I've been alone for two weeks. Oh my God, I've been single for so long. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I don't need to be the person that you like work out whatever the fuck happened in your last relationship because you can't stand to like look yourself in the mirror. But also, it's the same thing with like, you know, the TikTok and like attention span lacking generation. It's just, which I guess I we all are a part of. But like, yeah, it's the like swipeability of like the what's yeah. next. And it's also, like, I would say it's, it's kind of, like, it's that or it's people have, like, turned feral and aren't going out anymore. And, like, there is, there's actually, like, a study being done right now or just came out or about to come out um, on the effects of quarantine and COVID mm -hmm. and how we essentially all just kind of had to stop our lives for, like, almost three years yeah and none of us were like out living and doing the things that like continue to have you like grow right so we're all like stunted several years well that makes sense uh yeah but the fact that it's like a scientific study and this is real and yeah. uh so i yeah it, it we're all feral that's it's like just... the other side of it is like we've all like a lot of people just like don't go out anymore and like don't know how to like interact with 
Well, that's me. That's Society. <laughs> that's my... Or just choose not to. I mean, yeah, that's part of it, too. Uh, like, I mean, and I don't know which is, like, better, you know, but obviously I think the way I'm doing it is better. Just I'm not engaging with that because that's the choice that I'm making. Yeah. But, um, uh, who knows, though? Uh, none of it is good. Yeah. But it is just fucking bleak out there but then you watch these like dating shows where like people like and we were talking about this like one of the like last two couples how like he obviously just didn't want to get married yeah he went like, on a show to, to get married yeah and then just didn't want to get married like yeah. he wanted to stay with this woman yeah he just didn't want to mar get married yeah and I'm like why did you go why on did a you, show? Yeah, why go on a show to get married? Yeah, when the entire premise of the show is marriage. And, like, that was her, I feel like her whole point, not her entire point, but, like, part of mm -hmm. her reason to be pissed is, like, yeah, you signed up for this. Mm -hmm. I signed up for this to get married. Yeah. If that was never your intention, why even go on this show? Yeah. And I feel like so I saw, like, a comment that was, like... I, next season, like, all the viewers are so, like, kind of, like, over this just disaster. Like, it it, it goes beyond good television. It's, like, yeah. just, like, kind of gross now. Yeah. And everybody's, like, we want to go back to, like, let's have everybody be 30 plus so that they're actually ready for marriage. Yeah. So, that was the couple that was in their early, or in their late 20s that actually I got, know married. They got, got married. I know, got married. Youngins so. got married, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, let's, moving forward, maybe actually screen these yeah. people, because obviously. Whatever you're doing is not fucking working. No. Though, I gotta tell you, like, for my anxiety issues and, like, my inability to, like, date myself, this is the perfect way to watch one of these shows. You just <laughs> kind of, like, keep me up to date on the highlights, and then we watch the last episode together, yeah. and now I'm so excited for the reunion. Oh, my God. And I, like, didn't have to go through the emotional trauma of all the guys that didn't even make it. Yep. I'm only, and I could barely make it through the finale. I was like, <laughs> How, I'm like, if this last couple doesn't work and he says something stupid, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna be done. It's just gonna be like bottle of tequila. Like I don't know what to do. Ad and Clay. 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 What a loser. What an idiot. He genuinely thought that they were still gonna date. Yeah. Him. Like he really. And she straight up told him on a date, like, it's yes or we're through. Yeah. I hope like, she doesn't get back together with him. Oh, God, me too. I really don't think she's going to. I really feel like that was awful. Yeah. And he was just, like, you could see when she was like, Clay, don't do this. Like, it was like, yeah, you're ending this right now. Yeah. Like, is this really... And he just, like, didn't get it. Yeah, I don't think he was, he like... Was... I think he partially dissociated and, like, kind of wasn't really... Yeah, I feel like there. in that, like, last interview, like, the very last yeah. thing we saw of him where he was like, I just want to go home, like, I feel stupid, like, I feel like he was starting. starting to, like, come back into, like, his brain. Yeah, and was like, oh, I really fucked this up, like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how you, unless you've discussed it beforehand, like, mm -hmm. and, like, really were like, this isn't how we want to have our wedding, like, yeah. we're not going to do it this way. yeah. Um, I don't think you come back from that. I mean, the whole premise, because I'd never seen right. this show before, Love is Blind. I mean, I'd heard about it, and I, like, the pods is like, all I'd really known about it. Yeah. So, I didn't know that, like, you legitimately get ready for a wedding, and then with, like, your family and in a fucking wedding dress, you, like either, like, get married or get rejected. Like, that is fucking brutal. It's so brutal. Like, like, in some ways, I feel like, um, I literally cannot remember anyone's names. But he will. Bobby Hill. <laughs> Even better. Megan Fox and Bobby Hill. Um, you know, I was thinking about, I was kind of shocked by their breakup, and that, but then I started thinking about it, and I was like, you know... He could have done that at the altar. I mean, yeah, there was part of me after watching the, like, last, the, like, the way it was supposed to happen or whatever. I'm like, dude, I would much rather 
like, have him dump me over dinner and me be like, you fucking idiot, but, yeah. like, have my everybody there and, like, yeah, so in yeah. the end, I was like, well, maybe that dude was actually nicer than the other one, because, yeah. fuck, like, your parents, your fucking friends, you, like, oh, my God, you, yeah. like, spent the whole day getting ready, thinking that you're going to be married by the end, oh, my God. Like, Just I can't imagine, nightmare. like, like I feel like we were all so shocked watching. I can't even imagine being AD and, like, having that moment, like, where they're, like, you're, like, waiting to hear I do, and then you hear other words starting to come out of his mouth. Yeah, and you're, like, what is this nightmare I'm living? Like, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, sh uh. I mean... Oh, but yeah, it was a walking like, red flag. Yeah. So, in some ways, I feel like as a viewer, we're like... Dodged a bullet. Dodged a fucking bullet. Yeah. But, oh, oh, that was... I'm... Brutal. She's always... AD's always been, like, really well-spoken and articulate. Uh-huh. Um, and I fucking, like, loved uh, Clay's mom. Mother. Yeah. She, like ripped his dad like a new one but like in the most like relaxed unemotional just like facts on facts on facts yeah way i have ever witnessed in my fucking life it was like a master class in like, like communicating and it was it was and closure a, like give this woman a fucking ted talk like yeah i like want to know everything she has to say seriously like, we both said as soon as like he started having that one on one conversation with his dad, yeah. like I saw that shift happen yeah. and I'm just like, Oh fuck. Yeah. This this is Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is gonna be a problem. And it was more of a problem than I thought. Yeah. Also, women articulating Sheena, Shay, talking to Sandoval, like for Lala, because Lala was, like, yeah, on yeah, another yeah. level and needed the help. Yeah. Fucking stepping up and just, like, facts on facts on facts again. Yeah. Like, I, I... Well, I feel like she was, like, so emotionally, like, just fucking torn down from, like, that whole day. Yeah. That she, like, was kind of, like, there are no feelings anymore. Yeah. These are the facts. <laughs> These are the facts. This is why you're looking like an idiot right now. Just apologize like we need to have like a count like a tracker on how many times Sandoval's like people in his life tell him to just shut up and apologize like yeah it's all anyone ever says to him and it's he can't the last do it thing though he, he doesn't do it he, like, can't, he can't do can't. it he's not capable it's just I mean it's fucking sad like he's got this like you know yoga breathing exercise woman he's like journaling like a fucking teenage girl like he's doing all this like quote unquote work but he can't fucking say i'm sorry yeah and without like qualifying it and i just as somebody who like has had trouble apologizing without like qualifying in the past yeah. you know like the and you know, sometimes there are, like, times where you're like, but if you just understood where I was coming from, this is not that. No. This is, like, you fucked up. It doesn't matter if they fucked up, too. No. You fucked up. Apologize for that. Yeah. And also, like, if we're just talking about that conversation that he had with Lala and just apologizing yeah. to Lala, Lala doesn't owe Sandoval an apology for anything. Like, so having yeah. this argument where she's going to seek an apology and for him to just be like, well, you did this and you did that, it's like, but that's not, who cares? Yeah. He didn't, none of it was to you, no. specifically, but what you did to her was, like, you came after her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he just wants to have the same conversation over and over if it means him not having to talk about himself. But simultaneously only talking about himself? Yeah, as soon as I said it, I was like, <laughs> except that he never shuts up. Also, I just have to point out that Tom Schwartz this season, oh my god, he is the every band. He is all of us, 
like, he just, you can just see he's so fucking uncomfortable in all of the, like, like, in all of their, like, after show stuff. Anytime he has to do any sort of, like, their confessionals or, like, anytime Sandoval says anything because it's always wrong, he's just so uncomfortable. Yeah. And, like, every once in a while it just tries to be, like, and like, like, hey, look at the view, yes. And, or like, we'll like be like, well, but you fucked up, yeah. like, yeah. He's always the voice of reason. Like, anytime, like, if he's speaking up, he's always being like, well, that's on you, buddy. So, yeah. and I can't. It's, I mean, it's hilarious to watch because you're like, <laughs> oh, I feel exactly the same <laughs> way as your face right now. Yeah. But then also you're just like, oh my god, what a fucking train wreck, like. I feel like we're watching in real time him, like, coming to the realization of, like, who Sandoval is and that he, like, has really, like, made his bed in the wrong house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To come up with my own metaphor. I, I dig it. Thank you. I would, I'll give you that one. I like that one. Thank you. Um, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's not great. No. It's not great. Mm-mm. I feel bad for Sheena, um, mm. but also she needs to, like, read the room and, yeah. like, go, like, like she's doing now and complaining to Lala. That's great. Yeah. Complain to Lala. Like, don't go to Ariana no. about her ex-boyfriend and your feelings about it. Like, that's no. just the wrong that's person. That's the wrong person. The wrong friend, like... Let's just it, keep it separate. Yeah. Uh, like, I know, like, this is hard for you, too. Yeah. But I, it's harder for her. Yeah. Duh. Like, <laughs> there's just no way around that. No. Like, so, uh, yeah, so there's, I'm And just, I've kind of felt that way, like, since she was, like, the one crying at, like, when they all, like, went over there after the breakup, yeah. like, immediately, and she was the one crying, and they were, like, consoling her, and I'm like... Yeah, there. It's just it's like, like you gotta like control, like control yourself. Yeah, like have, like you have other friends, and I think a lot of it too is that like she just really wants to like impart to to Ariana that like this relationship is super important to her, so that Ariana won't like cut her off if she wants to stay friends with him. Yeah. But you're never going to get that. No, you're not going to. And you're just going to make it easier for her to walk away from you if you keep fucking picking at that wound. Yeah. And and it's, you know, it's ultimately her decision, but she knows that Ariana set a boundary. That if she wants to maintain a relationship with Sandoval, then she's not Mm going to have a relationship with Ariana. Yeah. And she may not feel like that forever, but that's what it is right now. Yeah, it's only been, like, as far as the Four show goes. Four months. Yeah. Like, it's fucking crazy. Nothing. Um, and I get that they have to film together, and I get that, like, producers are like, go on this trip, but, dude, four months after, he, it hasn't even been as long as the affair was. Yeah. And they were together for almost ten years. Like, dude, I would not be fucking talking to him right now. No, I mean, even if we just go by the, like, old wise tale of, like, it takes half the length of the relationship yeah. to, like, get over it. Is that an old wives tale, or did we learn that from Sex in the City? Probably Sex in the City. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, like, even if, like, I, yeah. I don't think, like, I think you reach a certain length and then it, like, yeah, right, it right, stops. Right. Um, I mean, it's not going to take her five years to get over this guy. No. I mean, it might, but I don't think about it. No. <laughs> I mean, I think she's... She, well on her way. Yeah, well on her way. I feel like the, like, kind of clarity and, like, slight detachment that she had when she was, like, kind of pulling Sandoval and, and, like, um, Lala and, like, configuring it out and, like, making it cut and dry. It's, like, that's the conversation that needs to be had with Ariana. And then she just has to deal with whatever she says. Yeah, I mean, she just has to first make a decision, like, if... It sounds like she doesn't care that Sandoval's in her life. Like, it sounds like she's just having a hard time. Like, she's going through a friend breakup. Yeah. And she has kind of said to Ariana, but she's always so emotional when she does it mm-hmm. that I think it just gets lost. Yeah. Um, I, I think she just needs to stop talking about Sandoval with Ariana. Yeah. And just be like, 
look, like, you're, I pick you, I choose you, like, I don't want to lose this friendship. Mm -hmm. Um, so if at any point you're feeling like I'm choosing sides or something, then yeah. speak up. Right. Um, otherwise I'm, I'm going to, I'm grieving this process, so I'm not going to bring it to you, but, yeah. like, I'm still, this is still challenging for me. Yeah. It just is, like, a lack of communication happening, which... If anything is to be learned from watching reality television, it's that when there is, like, a breakdown of communication, that's when shit, like, just, just goes awry. Goes out of control. Yeah. yeah. Lack of communication and too much alcohol leads to chaos. Absolute chaos. And they are just... Well, chaos monsters. Just... Yeah. Yep. All over the place. It's interesting, though, because... Lala's sober, Sandoval is sober, light at this point. Yeah. Uh, James is sober. Yeah, it's true. So they're just all chaos demons anyway. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. I can't imagine being that dramatic and sober. Well, I can barely imagine being that dramatic and drunk, but <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest. But, but yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> 